Mokos. Yeah, <laughs> that fence obviously doesn't go all the way. They come down in, they were actually even down in this next campground, as you can tell by the cow poop. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, copper was sitting in the doorway and oh, there he is I thought you were still in the tent Bob the mukas huh the mukas the mukas you like the mukas you bark at them huh no uh -uh. <laughs> yeah that's a good boy yeah you stay close you stay close yeah I still haven't found my freaking garbage bags I need to oh, I got a bunch of stuff but I'll find them tomorrow. But today was just, I was going to try to get this up here, but it was just so freaking windy. It's really died down. And then it's supposed to be just, you know, the wind's supposed to like die down to like three miles an hour. But I've got, I set up my other table at least and uh, got my two butane stoves and, um, Anyway, oh, I, I got to show you something. Hang on just a second. This is kind of cool. <clears throat> Had to put my windscreen up because this one got going, the front one here, but the back one there. And this is just uh, alcohol stoves. So all you do is you use regular rubbing alcohol. Preferably the 91% because it burns better. You can use the 70%, whatever it is, but yeah, copper's over there. <laughs> ah, he's bored now. You bored with the moo cows, dude? Uh, you bored with the moo cows? Yeah, I know. It's dinner time. Hey. 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 Dude. Dude. <gasps> you want to get some gravy train? You get some gravy train? Huh? Can I get some gravy train? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had this grandiose plans for dinner. I was going to cook up some hamburger patties and some one of those jars or, or cans of, you know, the potatoes. Yeah, so that's my setup now. I was actually able to, I, I, I'm getting around better today probably than I have since I got here. But my back is really feeling it. Now it's like on my right side, the mid back, because I probably overdone it. But that's the way the mop flops, as my dad used to say. Yeah, that, that one over right here, the wind blew it out almost immediately. This one's a little bit more protected because of the burners down there in the bottom. But, uh, and I threw some wood in there too to try to get it going. It was harder to start than the little one. But the little one's like a little marble thing, whatever it is. This thing, Walmart special. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to have like a tabletop. And they do put off a little bit of heat, you know, so. Just got to be careful. Don't want to get your hands too close to it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get copper fed. Huh, copper? We're going to get you some food, huh? Hey. Can you see some food? You want to get some food? You eat? You hungry? Yeah, he's licking his lips. <laughs> I noticed another thing, too, that's funny. When I say a word that he I just noticed this today. When I say a word that he recognizes, his left ear twitches and goes back. It'll twitch and go back anytime. Dude, you want to get some gravy train? Want to get some gravy train? You're not doing it now. When he, If he's sitting there not really paying attention and I say something, like I asked him today if he wanted a biscuit, and as soon as I said that, that ear went back and he started licking the lips. You want to get some num num? Oh, yeah. Alrighty, I'm going to quit torturing him, feed him. We'll he'll talk to you later. You know, it's really nice.
to have a fairly normal day. Got my uh, burgers cooking, although I forgot to bring my bread. So I'm just going to have the two patties, and I forgot my spices. So there may be some salt stuck in there. If not, I'm going to have to pick some up at the store because I've got to have the salt and pepper and some cayenne pepper. And then it looks like eggs, but it's those um, the potatoes, you know, that come in the can. And then I got my scrubbers. And, and then I was looking for plates. When I was looking for plates, Guess what I found? <laughs> the lanterns that Nancy got me. Oh my word, I am so happy because it has been horrible. And then I got my, uh, I buy this because it's like every time I bought milk, it would go bad before I could use half the thing. So I buy this uh, Nido or Nido or whatever it is, Nido. Uh, Fortificada. It's actually, you know, fortified for babies or whatever, but I don't care. It's milk. I've been using it for a long time. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm cooking. Great value. Guess where I got those? Uh, so, yeah. This is the first time used for this frying pan. And, uh,. Probably should have put the potatoes on first, but um, I'm at the point right now I just want to sit down and eat. And the wind has stopped, so I can probably eat out here. i got to find my silverware, though. So anyway, once these potatoes get done, I'm going to turn the burgers way down so they don't get fricasseed. In fact, I'd probably just turn it off and I'll just continue to cook until these puppies get done. I actually may switch. I don't know how many BTU this is. I may switch and put that over here. This is the gas one, and that was the Coleman. I don't know which one's more powerful. Should say on it. Anyway, I'm going to check and then I'm going to get me a Coke out of the cooler or a Diet Coke. A Diet Sam's Club Cola. That puppy's still going strong, man. It's just kind of cool. It really looks cool at night. It really looks neat out here at night. And I like that sucker up. And, uh,. Supposed to go all the way around it, but I wanted to shield both of those. Of course, the other one petered out, so I might as well just wrap it around it. But then I couldn't see it. So, anyway, oh, I'm gonna have dinner here pretty soon. It'd be pretty good. All right, talk to you later. Oh, there goes my finger. Dinner is served. It would be so much better if I had some salt and pepper for it. <laughs> oh, by the way, I didn't mention this this morning. Those, um, the, the heat activated fan that I use on the, the buddy heater, Mr. Heater. It works at any heat source. I've seen people use it on a wood stove. That's what gave me the idea just to put it on here and try. And it, it works pretty well. So, I don't have it on yet because there's no need. It's still not too bad. And, um, yeah. So I'm getting ready to dig in. <laughs> no spices. Ugh. Anyway, uh, it's still good. It'll still taste good. Alrighty. Din din time. I ate dinner then. <laughs> no, that's okay, dude. Finish your food. Finish your food, dude. Get it. <clears throat> I finished my dinner and then I finally realized, oh crap, 
I got busy doing everything and forgot to feed him. <laughs> oh well, he gets to eat first 90% of the time, 99% of the time. So, by the way, um, I know Coleman's supposed to be a good brand, but if I were to make a suggestion, I was trying, I got the, the burgers were done, I look over and it's like, man, it's taking a long time for those potatoes to cook. Yeah, the freaking thing kept going out. The wind was blowing out, and then I put the windscreen around it, then it get it fired back up. Well, I guess it could be out of butane, but but still, there should be plenty in there, because usually one of those cans, I've only cooked like three meals on it, and usually it'll last a lot more than that. On this one, this one here, awesome stove. This gas one, I, I take the, I, and I had another gas one stove before, which I really liked, and, um, there was actually one I had to leave behind, but uh, that's a, a isobutane stove. But I'd rather have two butane because butane is super, super cheap. And uh, but anyway, and this one runs both butane and propane. But I'm not going to run propane on it because I want to save my propane for other things. Like I've got some Coleman. Um, you know, I'm just that you screw into the canister or whatever. Plus, it's cheaper. Actually, propane's cheap, but but cheaper than lots of butane by far, huh, copper? All uh, right, you just went up and pooped, huh? Yeah, you just went up and pooped, huh? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you just went and pooped. Yeah, uh, that's a good boy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. I don't know what he's doing now. All I know is, let's go back in, dude. Go on. Let's go back in. Come on. Come on. Let's go back in. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back in. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Here you am. I said, good boy. Yeah, I'm going to close this thing up. It's, it's starting to cool off. Ugh. Ugh. Anyway, here's stuff I gotta put back in the rig. And at least the winds died down, but this is the layout that my cot. I tried putting bungee cords on it, but they're just not staying. So actually, I think this one up here is, but I'm kind of afraid because it because that thing snaps off and hits me in the face. It could, it, it's got some big thingies on it, so. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to take that off of there as much as I'd love to keep it on it because I don't want that thing snapping off because this one snaps off down here. So I don't want it snapping off and get my guitar and my rifles and copper. Well, you see another muka? Huh? You see another muka out there? Is that muka out there? Let's well, see that left ear go back. Hey. Dude, where is he? Where am Muka? Was he in that Muka out there? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tarp and I'm gonna set it up back here because there's a couple of trees I can tie it to, and then I'm gonna move the oh, at least the the big table back there so it can be under in case it rains. It's not supposed to rain again, I don't think. But look at that view. Yeah, you can see those little trails. There's, sorry, excuse my finger. See some trails up there. I don't know. I think people ride motorcycles. In fact, I think I've heard a couple of motorcycles up there today. It would be a freaking cold day, a windy day to ride a motorcycle. I'd be afraid of being blown off the mountain. But, uh...
kind of see them. Anyway, it turned into a beautiful day. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so I'm going to try to get the, the big tent set up tomorrow because if, that, if we have another windstorm, I don't want to be in this thing anymore because I did pretty good. I'll have to say for a cheap tent, it did pretty dang good. But, uh, yeah. Oh. This is nice. Had somebody come. Oh, actually, let me get it turned around and I'll tell you. Anyway, <clears throat> that seems to be my favorite word of the day. <laughs> anyway, well, anyway, 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 you won't. Okay. Oh, me name rare. Um,. God, my fingers are freezing. I'm going to turn that heater on, see if I get my fingers warmed up. Uh, I don't know where, where I'm looking at on here. So it looks like I'm looking to the side. It's because I am. Um, anyway, I had somebody come earlier. I didn't can't see outside. That's one thing I like about the, the big tent, too, is I can zip the, zip the zipper down and see out the windows and the doors. There's four of them. See what's going on. Do a little peek out. But some somebody come up and they had two dogs. And they were just like, I don't know. I'm assuming they were probably barking at the cows. Either that or they just, there's the kind of people that are like, duh, and, and so the dogs are duh and not trained and don't mind. And um, they're just out there. When Copper we had the, the door open here because it was really nice, felt good. And Copper was laying here and he's looking out. At, and all of a sudden, you could hear him come up, rig come up, and you can hear these dogs like, <laughs> there's two of them. And Copper's just sitting here looking, looking out like, and he turns to me and he says, those mofos ain't trained. <laughs> no, he was just sitting here looking at them. You know, he wasn't growling, wasn't barking, wasn't doing anything. Just He was just observing. And these dogs are out here. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, please, Lord, do not let them pull into the camp space next door. It's like, no. Mm -mm. No, can't deal with that. I know that there's going to be a lot of situations where I'm going to have to deal with crap like that, but not today. You know, because that still hurt. You know, it's not like it was yesterday. Oh, my word. Not even in the same ballpark. I mean, I hurt, but my back, I've dealt with back pain for years, and so it's like I'm pretty used to it until it goes into spasm. Spasm is a completely different story. And it hasn't been in spasm today. Haven't had it going to spasm once. Had it kind of a kind of a tweaky, you know, like oh, you know, ouch, but not, you know, it didn't go into spasm. And then my right side started hurting today in my mid back. But I've done a lot today. I've done a lot of bending and lifting, and you know, um, you know, hopefully after tomorrow I can just totally relax. Because I've got to get that other tent up. I, I would have done it today. I actually probably felt good enough to do it today. But it would have been an effort and futility as hard as that wind was blowing. You know, if you watched my short that I did, I mean, that, it was massive wind. But I tell you what, last night, before I started shaking the tent, I woke up about, I think it was about one thirty. And it was pouring rain. Well, then the rain stopped. And I'm just laying here trying to get back to sleep. And all of a sudden you can hear that. Because we're down in a canyon. The big, you know, Snake River Canyon, like I said before. And as soon as that wind started pouring through that canyon. Oh, my word. But it was the coolest sound. I mean, it was like all of a sudden it was kind of like heard. 
At first I thought it was an airplane. I go, that's kind of weird. Somebody would be flying over here at night. And um, but then all of a sudden it's going like, you know, and it built up, built up, built up. But man, it sounded cool. I mean, it was the coolest sound. But then it started to just whipping. And the tent started shaking. And it's one thing about the, the white duck tent. The wind won't, you know, it'll blow, but it won't make that thing shake at all. It's built for that. Plus, I'm going to put a fly over it. You don't have to, but why not? I've, I, I bought a tarp to do that with a, a tent. I bought it well over a year ago, so it wasn't necessarily meant to go on this one but it'll work it's the right size so i just drape it over it peg it down if i can god this ground is so freaking hard but um hopefully it's a little softer over there than it is here now behind the tent's not bad because i just drove something a motion sensor into the ground and it's plastic and it went right in no problem so that's another thing too It'd be easier to set up a tarp there where the ground's a lot softer so anyway it's time for me to kick back it looks a lot lighter on the camera than it than it is in, in real life i mean it's not dark but it just it looks a lot lighter you know to you guys oh another thing too one more question then i'll shut up I was thinking, and I know that's a dangerous proposition, but I was wondering, you know, normally I wear my beard in just like a stubble, you know, because that's supposed to be fashionable or whatever, but um, plus it's more salt and pepper, whereas this is just pure salt. <laughs> Could have used it on my potatoes. Um, but... Let's take a poll of which you like better. Do you like the longer look? If so, I'll, I'll keep growing it out. Or do you like the shorter stubble look? It's not, it's not that long yet, but it's a lot longer than I normally let it grow. Now, back when it used to grow out brown, I used to have a really good beard. You know, when I was living in Montana, or, or was it Seattle? I don't I think it was. In, no, I was in, when I was living in Seattle, I grew it out quite a bit. And I thought it looked pretty good. But it just, I can only keep it so long. And then, which I'm really surprised that it hasn't started itching me. Because usually by now it's started itching me so bad that I just zipped it right back down to stubble. But, uh, yeah, let, just let me know. I'm go rambling on. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. I should sleep really well again tonight, though. So, that's cool. I, I was tired, like I said, last night. I was just like, I laid down on this cot, and it's like, oh, I was gone. Might do the same thing tonight. But I think I'm going to have to turn the heater on tonight, because it's considerably colder right t tonight than it was last night. Last night, I felt fine. You know, this morning, I turned it on, you know, after I got up, turned it on for a little bit because I wasn't under the comfort of the sleeping bag. You know, I was just sitting here and I was getting a little, it was getting a little cool, so I just turned it on and till that ran out of poop. And um, so then I got this other one in here and. I don't know if I got about a third of a tank of propane, so I'm not going to run it a whole ton before I go to bed. But, you know, just enough to... And that's another thing, too, is the white duck tent not being mesh, it'll hold in the heat a lot better. A lot better. Because this is all mesh and just covered with the rain fly. The only, the only part that isn't mesh is, like, here in front. You know, but even up above, it's mesh. It's not all fabric. Hope you can see it. I can't see what I'm looking at because I got done selfie mode and I can't switch it without turning it, stopping the video. Oh, here comes somebody. 
I uh, hope it isn't the morons with the dogs. Mm. All right, I'm gonna check on it. I think it's just people coming here, driving up here, checking to see, because they don't, until you get, you have to go up a hill to get here. And so until you get up here, you can't see that there's no other campgrounds past this one, because, because the, like, maintenance shed or wherever it is, is over there behind the fence. And uh, this is the last campground up here. So I was going to pick that one by the bathrooms, but. There was so much poop there that it's like all the areas where I would would set up a tent is just cow poop. <laughs> so I think, and the thing is, it is you know being Friday, it is the weekend, so there's going to be people here fishing and stuff. So, so I imagine probably there'll be a few people here this weekend, and then, and then uh, once the weekend's over. It'll be just copper and me again. So, all right, copper. You gonna say bye, buddy? You gonna say bye, bye, Huh? Dad, what is it? Is there something out there? Is there something out there? I don't see anything. I don't see any cows or anything. Don't see any cows. Don't see any dogs. Don't see any. Prairie dogs, don't see any crocodiles or lions. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Um, yeah, if there were bears, I wouldn't be camping here. I don't I don't do bears. Whether in the forest or in Chicago. Because they're in the same division as the Packers. Therefore they are the enemy. Oops, I'm sorry. Trying to zip this up. And that's one thing too on, on the white duck zippers are the YKK zippers, I think they call them. They're, they're top of the line. These things here, they're not super bad, but they're not heavy duty like the ones on the white duck. And so they're a lot harder to zip up and down. Anyway, I'm going to lay down the cot, watch a little YouTube. -y. probably fall asleep. So, unless something really cool happens, this will be my last video of the day. Hope you're enjoying them. I'm enjoying sharing this with y'all. So let me know about this, how you, you want to, me to keep my beard. I know it's stupid, but hey, you know, make it a little fun, a little pole action, whatever. I don't know why. I keep, I'm looking right at the thing that looks like I'm looking sideways. Maybe I look to the left. <laughs> All right. I will talk to you later. Have a good evening.